Hey everybody, what's going on? Today I'm going to be doing a review of my Spartan lockers in the rain. So if you watched my last Spartan locker videos, you know I put these things in a few months ago and I put them front and rear in my Cherokee and I've been daily driving them ever since then, uh, aside from the times that my Jeep is down because of just broken parts from off-roading. Um, anyways, I haven't gotten the chance to really do a good rain review and especially since the, the lockers have been in for a little while, I thought this would be a good opportunity to go ahead and show you what they're like in the rain. So without further ado, I'll flip the camera and we'll get started. So this is my Cherokee that I have my lockers in. Uh, you probably can't see very good because it's not raining right now, but it is indeed raining. Uh, you can kind of see all the water I have all over the Jeep. And it'll probably pick up here on my way home, so I figured now would be a good time to do all the exterior stuff. But my Jeep has Goodyear Wrangler Duratrax on it that still have plenty of tread left on them and a lot of times your tires are going to make the biggest difference in the rain. Uh, and I'll bring that up again later when I'm talking about the lockers, but just so you guys can see, I've got the Chrysler 8 and a quarter rear. And yes, I know my shock is hanging off the mount over there, I'm in the middle of fixing that. and a Dana 30 front. And you can see mine is a low pinion, but uh, I'll go ahead and jump in and we'll start driving around. Let me unlock it first. There we go. But I'll tell you my first impressions real quick. So just like with just about anything, um, this, this really, really depends on the tires you have. So I have Dura tracks. They're really good in inclement weather like this. And if you have a more aggressive mud tire out in the rain, it's definitely gonna be a little more slippy than the Dura tracks are gonna be. But uh, I'm gonna set up my phone mount so I can drive while I'm talking and we'll go ahead and get started. All right, so I'm pulled off in this empty parking lot here the, just so I can kind of show you some of the characteristics of what the lockers are like in just kind of a wet surface while it's not raining too bad and I can stick my phone outside. And the first thing I'm going to say is since having these, I've had them for a few months now, they've really, really quieted up. I know in my last review video, they were still kind of clicking and popping and I still have the, what is it, the 75 or 90 weight oil, the gear oil. I think it's a 75W90. Uh, I still have the Jeep recommended gear oil in my Jeep. I do not have the 140 or whatever, the 90 to 140 I think it is, that other people put in their Jeeps to make the lockers quieter just immediately. So uh, I, it is possible to run the lighter gear oil and still have it nice and quiet. So anyways, I'll go ahead and put it in drive and you can see I'm in two wheel drive here. And if I go full lock, to start driving. I can flip it around the other way. You can tell they're nice and quiet and the backs really aren't chirping at all either. Um, I'm not going to be able to stick my phone outside today since the ground's all wet, but let's see here. Um, as soon as this car passes, I'll pull out here and I'll try to turp the tires a little bit. So if you go, oh, make sure this van. Anyways. When you're taking off, if you give it too much throttle, like a lot of you, you'll just drive normal and sensible, so this isn't really going to affect you much having the lockers in your Jeep. But if you do go where you take off at a higher RPM, like you're trying to floor it to beat somebody or something, the lockers in the rain will lose traction, uh, fairly substantially too. Of course, there's a lot of traffic as soon as I decided to show you guys this. but. If I take off, come over this bump, and I give it some gas, 
then I have to correct because it oversteer or understeers. Sorry. But uh, aside from that, they're really not any different than normal driving, just in the rain. Uh, you just have to slow down a little bit like you normally would, and uh, be cautious of other drivers. Of course, other drivers are the main killer for rain driving. You guys know that. So. Uh, overall, I would say they're really not that bad to have in the rain. I've had no complaints with mine, and I mean, I've been daily driving, so. Hope this guy just helps you out. I know it's not a long video, but I'm sure it's nice to have it short and sweet and to the point. They're still, they're getting quieter every day. I still, I still believe in that. Um, I've had them in for close to six months now, I think, so. Uh, if you're looking to get some Spartan lockers, they're really cheap. They're super effective off-road and you can still daily drive them in all kinds of weather. Alright guys, I want to show you the last part of my drive in real time. Uh, most of it I did with the time lapse just so that I could not have to show you 45 minutes of driving on the way back from the shop, but I mean just cruising around, it's still raining pretty good. You, know, you can see how wet the roads still are and it's it drives just kind of like a Jeep. Um, it does drive worse than if you didn't have your lockers in it but that's how all driving is gonna be. And I think I'm pretty sure I mentioned that in my last video. But uh, just like cruising around town, 35 or so, it, it does fine. Um, we'll wait for this light and then we'll take the next few roads. Uh, I did go through some curvy sections. I don't know if you watched the time lapse or not, but if you watched through the whole thing, you can see I went through some curvy sections and it's fine. It doesn't feel like the back end's gonna kick out on me. It steers like it does when it's dry. It's very predictable. If you use cruise control in the rain, you might get into some funky situations around curves. So I would recommend not using cruise control in the rain. But that's kind of how all cars are. You're not supposed to use cruise control in the rain if you don't, if you if you can at all avoid it. Which I mean. There's no reason where you just have to use cruise control, so. Uh, we have this little hill up here, and where we go around a couple corners. I don't know why this isn't focusing very good, but there's someone pull out in front of me. The biggest thing, you guys, is you just have to you have to be safe driving just like 
you always would and you just have to slow down a little bit in the rain like you like any normal person would and if you're considering getting the lockers and driving in the rain is holding you back i would say do it i mean look i can accelerate through this right here speed up through this corner and it's just fine like i'm driving with one hand filming for you guys braking turning into the neighborhood it's it's all it's very predictable and that's that's the best thing about it is it's all so predictable so let me get pulled up to the house here and parked and then i'll kind of give you some closing statements so guys overall my thoughts on spartan lockers in the rain it's really not that much different from doing it when it's dry out you do notice a little bit the drivability differences uh, like if you give it a little too much throttle out of a corner it's probably going to slip out especially because if you guys are running spartan lockers you're running mud tires and mud tires just aren't as good in the rain so if you have good tires like i do i have these dura tracks that have good sipes in them so that they're good in rainy conditions it really helps out a lot and making sure that your tires are up to date helps a lot too but otherwise you just got to be careful with your driving like i've said probably a thousand times in this video and you'll be just fine. It's very predictable as long as your Jeep is a good running, driving Jeep. If you've got any loose steering components, it might be a little iffy, so uh, just keep keep that in mind. But otherwise, hopefully this is a helpful video for you guys. Uh, here in a few days, I'm going to try to get out a video on a six-month review of my Spartan lockers, just in general, and not a rain drive. So stay tuned for that. Hope to see you in the next one.